it's Anja here at OurGabletHome.com and in today's video I am going to show you how you can make these fabric baskets. They're super cute, they can be for your bread, you can put your bread um, on the table like this, even if you have some leftover bread you can fold over this top and it will actually keep your bread fresher for a little bit longer. You could use this in your bathroom for your brushes or for um, any of your craft projects. And because um, I'm going to give you the directions how you can make this, you can totally adjust the size of it. You could make it smaller or you could bigger depending on what you need. And this one I made from linen. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have this love for linen. Some may even call it an obsession with linen. And I'm always looking for projects that I can use linen for. And this is perfect because linen actually is a fairly sturdy fabric. You want something that's a little bit stiffer for this basket here, but it also is a little bit antibacterial and antimicrobial. So it's actually perfect for keeping bread in it. And it just absolutely looks beautiful in your homestead or farmhouse kitchen. So stay tuned for how to make this. And just as a little caveat, it helps if you have some experience sewing. I would not recommend this for somebody who's just learning to sew. Um, you want to have a few um, experiences sewing some things before you tackle this one. the bottom of this round linen basket I am using a bowl that I've decided has the right diameter for what I want and you can just use any plate or bowl or anything round that you have and I went ahead and marked the size of it on two pieces of linen that I have already cut out. Now in terms of the sides of the fabric basket, we need to figure out how wide this is. And I know that my math teacher will be really proud of me if I'm going to tell him that I know that this, the circumference, is the um, diameter times 3.14, which is the pi number that you may have heard about. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and measure that. And I'm going to do it in centimeters just because that tends to be a little bit more accurate. So we have about 18 centimeters and I'm going to do that on my calculator. So 18 times 3.14, 56. So my um, next piece is going to be 56.52 centimeters wide. And I'm going to cut that. And let's see how wide this piece is right here. That is not quite not quite what I need, so I'm going to do it lengthwise. And also when you cut this, as you can see here on my round pieces, you need to add the um, seam allowance. And I'm always doing about, about half an inch or so. As you can see, it's not super even, but that's okay. So I'm going to measure it this way. So we have 52 and then I need an inch for the seam allowance on both sides. Now I have marked 52 and a half plus two centimeters. Remember I'm doing this in metric. You can totally do this in inches. I always find metric a little bit easier and I have it on both sides of my measuring tape. And then I need to figure out how high I want my basket to be. So if I have 
the basket right here. And remember that you want to be able to fold over the top. I would say that 25 inches is pretty good. So I'm going to measure that out. 25 and remember to add two centimeters on both sides. So that is 27. You'll be marking that. And then I cut two pieces of interfacing just to give this linen fabric a little bit more stiffness and stand up ility, <laughs> if that is even a word. If your linen is a denser, thicker weight, then you may be able to omit this. Or if you're using a cotton that is pretty lightweight, you may want to do this. This is not required, but completely optional. And here's a confession because I didn't have enough. I will not add interfacing to my bottom here, but that's okay because it's already um, standing pretty stiff. So I'm just going to iron this onto these two pieces and then we'll continue from there. I've folded my two pieces, the rectangular pieces in half and marked off exactly where half of my circumference is and that for me means 26 and a quarter and I marked it I'm gonna pin these pieces just so to make sure that nothing moves nothing goes anywhere and then I'm just gonna sew down the straight line And I will do that with this other piece too. And now comes the trickiest part of the whole project and that is attaching the round piece to the straight piece. And what you'll do is you want to use right sides together and pin the round piece into the opening here of your tunnel, if you will. So we're going to start pinning from this side here. And as you can see, I'm attaching the round piece to the straight piece. So this is what it should look like at this point. I have attached the round piece to the straight piece. And next we'll sew this along the seam allowance line. Now that we have these two baskets here, I have turned one right side out and I'll leave the other one inside out and I'm putting one into the other right sides together and I will pin these together. However, I need to leave an opening so that I can turn this whole thing around. I'm going to do that. And you want to make sure that you put the seams together 
and mark. So I'm leaving a generous opening so I can pull these through. And seams always lie a little bit better if you pull them apart like this. And they're not really lined up, so I should really start with the seams here. It will just look nicer. So I'm going to take this one off again. And here's going to be my opening. So this is the side that we don't want to sew. Everything else we will sew around here. Here you can see the opening and all we're going to do is pull this out and turn this right side out. So we have two baskets here and we will put one inside the other. Now all we need to do is finish up this top seam and I'm going to press this just to make this stand up a little bit better and then I'll pin it and sew it together. I have pinned the tops here together and you can see that this is where the opening was. I have tucked it in really nicely, pressed it a little bit and now I'll just create a seam um, and then that will be done. And so here, yeah, here's your finished fabric round basket. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up here. If you're new on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I upload a new video every week on Tuesdays. Also in the comments, let me know all your questions or if you have any input, I would love to hear from you. If you enjoy DIY projects, if you enjoy sewing or crafts, if you'd like to see more recipes or home improvement, gardening, let me know what you would like to see me make a video on. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.